You want your dashboard to be completely dark when you get behind the wheel and start your car. While everyone wants that, unfortunately owning a car sometimes results in lights not turning off when you want them to. Modern vehicles have an essential light called the ESP Bass, and if yours won't turn off, you're losing out on some cutting-edge safety features. It's a big deal, so pay attention as I explain everything you should know, including what it is, how it operates, and, most importantly, how to fix it. When the light comes on, there is a problem with one of the vehicle's electronic stability program or the brake assist system, which is known as ESP Bass. Since not all vehicles have these systems, you won't find an ESP Bass light in every car, but Jeeps, Dodges, and Chryslers frequently have them. This light is also present in Mercedes-Benz vehicles, though they refer to it as a Bass ESP or Bass light rather than an ESP Bass light. The Electronic Stability Program, also known as Electronic Stability Control or ESC, and the Brake Assist System make up ESP Bass. You must comprehend both underlying systems in order to fully comprehend what an ESP Bass system does. The Traction Control and ESP systems work similarly, but Traction Control assists in keeping your car moving straight while ESP aids in cornering. Both systems aim to keep your wheels on the ground and gain good traction, but they perform best in various environments. For better braking performance in emergency situations, Bass works in tandem with the abs. In an emergency, Bass detects when you fully depress the brake and makes sure it stays fully depressed until the abs engages. Causes There are a few possible causes for your car's ESP Bass light to turn on. We'll go over each potential reason in detail for you here, and the reasons differ in likelihood and seriousness. Faulty Wheel Speed Sensor This is yet another extremely frequent cause of the ESP Bass light on your car to illuminate. Wheel speed sensors on each wheel provide the computer with precise information about how quickly each wheel is spinning. To determine which wheels are slipping or losing traction, it compares those readings to those from the other wheel speed sensors. Bear in mind that if your car's wheel speed sensor fails, you'll also lose traction control and apps. Faulty steering angle sensor One of the most frequent causes of an ESP bass light coming on is a bad steering angle sensor. Your vehicle needs to be aware of how much you're turning the wheel as you turn around a corner in order for the ESP component of the system to function. It knows an adjustment is necessary if the measurements agree with the readings from one of the wheel speed sensors. However, the system won't be able to figure out what's going on and make the necessary adjustments if it detects that the steering angle sensor is providing inaccurate readings. Your vehicle will continue to turn even if the steering angle sensor is malfunctioning, because the actual turning of your wheels depends on a physical connection between the steering column and the rack and pinion. Wiring Problems All of these various sensors communicate with the computer and one another via wires, and the system suffers if any of these wires aren't transmitting accurate data. A complete break in the line that prevents it from sending the required signals could be the issue, or there could be too much resistance, a short, or a crossed wire in some location. Fortunately, wiring issues are not very common because they are notoriously challenging to locate. Faulty Brake Switch Every time you press the brake pedal, the brake switch in your car activates the brake lights that are located behind it. Even though brake switches don't fail very frequently, if one does on your car, the ESP bus light might come on. This is due to two factors. In order for you to know there is a problem, it will first turn on, otherwise, you might not even realize the brake switch failed. Next, the brake switch frequently communicates your intention to stop with the computer through the brake assist system. The computer in your car won't know when to assist you if you don't let it know you're slamming on the brakes. How to fix? It's best to rule out the simple possibilities first when trying to figure out why the light is on. Therefore, it is best to eliminate the brake switch first. When someone is standing behind your car, turn on the engine, then press the brake pedal to test the switch. The brake switch is in working order if the brake lights come on. If they don't, you've probably identified the issue. Connect an automotive scan tool after that so you can examine the various sensor readings. Check the steering angle sensor reading first. Check to see if the sensor reading is changing properly as you turn the steering wheel. If it is, the issue isn't with this. The steering angle sensor may be to blame if it isn't. After that, check the wheel speed sensor readings and take a passenger for a drive. As you travel down the road, have them check the wheel sensor readouts to see if there is one that doesn't match the others. If so, a malfunctioning wheel speed sensor is probably to blame. Remember that any of these sensors may experience issues if the signal isn't getting to the computer from the sensor. Although unlikely, if it does happen you have a wiring problem that needs to be fixed. So, that's it. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.